Okay, cool. So this was the missing piece, man, from 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 successfully running Facebook ads for affiliate marketing. You have to get this hash list from the vendor. So you got that hash list. Great freaking job. They gave you a shitload of them. You got 5,000 records on this one alone. And now what we're going to do with this is we're going to take it to Facebook, create a custom audience, and then we turn around and create a lookalike audience. And then when you start running ads, you start targeting your lookalike audience. That's it. Oh. So rather than targeting who you were targeting prior, you were probably targeting a country or you were targeting, and I'm not talking about the keywords, I'm talking about the actual location. So you, I don't know if you were targeting the US or if you're targeting other countries or whatever, but but that was that was that was the the mistake is that it's not it's not even it's not even that it's it's, it's this part right here that we need to be targeting. So so now that we have the list, we want to make sure that it's that it's downloaded to the computer, which you did. So now let's go to Facebook, let's have, um, a custom audience around around this list. So we're going to click on the three lines and make sure you're in the right account too. That drop down mic guy is that the account that we're working out of, or is it? Yes, yeah, yeah. We got to be in one of these top ones. So. So remember, in the future, what you want to do is you want to go to business settings and you want to make sure that all the details are filled out in the business info. Let, let's do, let's go go there real quick because that, that part's super important. Hit the three lines on the top left and then go to um, business settings. Okay, cool. So now over here, you want to make sure you're in the right account, which is the Adonis one, that, that one right there. That's a good one. And then here, bottom, bottom, bottom left, you want to make sure you fill out the business info. You don't got to do it now, but make sure you eventually do this. Business oh. info. Yeah, fill out all the details over here. Um, address and, and phone number and, and website. Just put whatever your website is. Um, dailyfruit.com, if that's what you got. Use whatever. Oh. Um, the legal name does not need to be a, a corporation. It could just be Daily Fruit, you know, the, the legal name. That's fine. But the address, the phone number... Um, the tax ID, not necessary. You don't need to put the tax ID. So as long as you have a name, address, phone number, and website, and no one sees this. This is just internally for Facebook. So okay. This will, this will um, help you keep this account longer. Um, as you see in the group, everyone begin their Facebook account shut down. And, and one huge part is because of this. They don't ever put, put the business info, and they don't ever confirm their email at the bottom. So your email is already confirmed at the bottom. Um, so you're good. You just got to fill out this part, but you could do this part later if anything. Okay. Let's create that list real quick, but, but for sure, come back here. Yeah. Watch scroll to the very, very bottom to the right. To the right. Yeah. Scroll down right here. So right here, right here, you got, you got name and you got email. So you're verified. You confirm the email. So you're good right there. That's a huge reason why a lot of accounts get shut down too, is because that email was never verified. So, um, so yours is verified because if it was not verified, it would say right there, verify. So the fact that it shows Shut your name and email, you're good. A couple of times. Yeah, yeah, right. So so confirming that email is really, really important. So now let's click on the three lines um, at the top and let's create this custom audience. So let's go down to audiences. Audience. Oh, oh, oh. And so when it comes to when it comes to a lookalike audience, um, you have to create the custom audience first because that's what the lookalike audience is based off of. It's based off of this audience. So Did it, um, change again. Uh, you should see it down below. Keep going lower, 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 lower audiences. Okay. And so for those of us that are for those of you that are actually joining us on YouTube, because I'm, I'm I'm putting this on on YouTube. For those of you that are that are following and you guys are into affiliate marketing, what Adonis, what I had him do and, and what he, he kind of knew before, but but he really didn't, and that's why we're connecting again. What he did is he reached out to the vendor. So for those of you that are doing affiliate marketing, reach out to the vendor of that product, email them. So if you're on ClickBank, if you're on JVZoo, if you're on any of these affiliate network platforms, you're picking a product, right? Adonis, he's going in the health in the health space, he has an, an awesome nutritional product, health product that he's going to be marketing. But no matter what platform you're getting that product from, that affiliate offer from, you'll always see the vendor's contact information. So what you absolutely have to do to succeed with Facebook ads and affiliate marketing is you absolutely have to reach out to that vendor and request a copy 
of a hashed customer list. And what that is, it's a customer list. It's literally their customer list. But what they do is they hash it, meaning they encrypt all of the information. So you can't see the name, you can't see the, the email, right? But that's what it is. They simply encrypt it, which is quote unquote hashing it. And then they send you that. And, and, and that is the game changer. So with that hash list, that's what we have right now. And that's what we're about to upload to Facebook because that hash list is what you is who you need to be targeting to really take your affiliate marketing to the next level. Um, and this is with Facebook ads, obviously. A lot of people do affiliate marketing with other marketing methods, but in this case with Facebook advertising, Instagram advertising, you need that hash list. You need to be targeting that hashed lookalike audience list. And that's what we're setting up here. So here, let's click that blue button and create create the audience. So cust actually, let's go custom audience, custom audience. And then um, over here, you're going to go customer list. And then and then next. And then you can go, you could just scroll down and go next. Okay, cool. And then here, you could just put, um, does your list include a column for customer value? You could put no. Just put no. Um, and then next. Okay, cool. And then you're going to upload the file right here. Okay, awesome. And then hit next. So now, um, so email, perfect. So that's what they sent you. They sent you a hash list of everyone's email. And, and, and that's that's what we have here. So that's fine. So import and create the blue button. Okay, cool. Your customer list is hashed and uploaded. So now, now this is the ninja shit. Now we take that custom audience and create a lookalike audience. Okay, so click that top one, create a lookalike audience. And then, um, and then that's the, it says right at the top, select your lookalike your lookalike source, right? So that's why it has to be a custom audience first because that's the source. And then we can create the lookalike audience around that one. So um, here, select audience location. So um, what you wanna do is you want to create create different ones. So so do one for, for one country and then, and then um, you could do another one for for a different country okay. but yeah do one for for um for us is a 2019 movie directed by jordan do one for the u.s yeah. just type in u.s yeah u.s go with the or united states united states okay perfect and then so now now so um now here, you're actually going to create. Um, you're going to create. You're going to create three different ones. So right there where it says number of lookalike audiences, click on that one, the drop down one, and then go down to three. Okay. So one one lookalike in the United States, based on this customer list, will be zero to one percent. The second one is going to be is going to be one. So take that. So we have to just spread these dots out. So, so one is zero to 1%. Actually, you know what, the way it looks right there, that's fine. One is zero to 1%. The second is one to two. The third is two to three. See that? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, now click the blue one, create audience. Bam, there it is there. So now that, that look alike, so now you got it right there at the top. You got two to three percent, one to two percent, and one percent. Right. So now, now as you go and run your freaking ads, and let's just do a basic a basic setup right now, real quick. We don't we don't got to run it, but let me show you where where you would now see that. So click the three lines. Let's go to Ads Manager. So we created the the custom audience. We created the lookalike audience. We created three different lookalike audiences. Now, as you come over here, make sure you're in that right account. So top drop down that eight nine eight nine eight hit that drop down the numbers the top yeah click on that drop down 
B more ad accounts. Always make sure you're working out of the right one. So C more ad accounts. Yes. Okay, perfect. So so that's that's what you want to do. You want to, and later on I'll take you through a whole Facebook training. But but we want to change out that that um that that um eight nine eight. Like we can customize all that. So just like you have the bottom one, you have Mike guy, Mike guy. Yes. Like top, you have Adonis, and then you have eight nine eight. Like we can customize that. But we'll do that later. But so this is the account. This is the right one that you'll be running out of. So now click the green button, create. And then as you come in here, you're going um, conversions and then and then continue. And then over here, you're going to go, you don't need special ad categories because if you click that, the categories hit the drop down. This is for, for people that are running affiliate offers for credit, employment, housing, or, or social issues. So if yours doesn't apply to any of that, then you don't need that. But if, but if it does, then you need that. Because if, if, if you go through and set up a whole damn ad and your ad has to do with credit, you're doing affiliate offers for credit cards, for example, and you didn't do this part, you the ad will get rejected. Oh, so, okay. So depend on what industry you're in. Yeah, you'll see it there. And it's only these four. So you're not in any of those. So no, no need to do that. So click out. And then now, now you'll just go straight down to next. And so now as we come to the second step, the ad set level, you'll scroll down and now you have these custom audiences. So scroll down your pixel. Yeah, your pixels need to be installed on the Kartra pages, which we'll do, we'll do, we'll do for sure, but keep going. So now as you come down here, a little lower, a little lower, you have your audiences. So now I can, I can simply go down a custom audience right there click inside the custom audience right there at the bottom custom audience down click inside that box now mm -hmm. no 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 inside the box search existing audiences down custom audiences right there no right there search right there search existing audiences so now i can click on lookalike audiences i can find my lookalike audiences and that's who i'm targeting so click on lookalike audiences right there in the middle lookalike yeah click on that and there are my lookalike audiences so, so you have these other ones, man. Did you, the Botox, the Biotox, did you, so you knew what you were doing already then? Um, this uh, was one of the steps that I use in Commission Hero, but I really never seen this part before um, okay. running ads. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. So now, so now you got, you got these three different, the top ones, right? The, the T-burn. So, so we got, we got these three. And so now it comes down to, so go ahead and click on one of them. So now it comes down to just simply testing one ad I would set up where I put all three in right here, right now, okay. another ad that I would set up would only have one and I, and I, and maybe I'll do three different ads and do one at a time. So right here, I could put all three of them in right here. And then I'll set up another ad and I'll do one at a time. Right? Yes. And that's a form of testing. So, so here, watch, put all three for the, for just the example here, put all three, click on all three of them. Okay. So that, that's one form of, 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 of testing It's let's put all three in there and see how that performs. And then let's also create another ad where we're only doing one at a time. So it's really not one other ad. It's actually three other ads. So if I was really testing, I would do four ads on this one campaign. I would do one ad just like this with all three. And then I would do three more with, with each one individually. That's oh, testing. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. So, so now what you, what you have to do also is wherever that, lookalike audience was based was based on whatever country we based it on 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 the us and that's what you want to do in the in the titling of these so we got to go back and rename them i would rename them because you want to be actually no it says us right there i'm tripping it's us right there so these are us so what you also have to do is also go down to the to the map and put us as well although even though we're, we're putting the custom audiences in the look like we still got to go to the map and and actually put in us so Scroll down and then um, go to the actual, where, 
Um, where's the damn map? Scroll back up. Might be, um, yeah, right here, right here. So edit the United States. So to the right, edit. Actually, no, it, um, the U.S. is already there. So I'm just saying, like, that's it right there. Perfect. So U.S. is perfect. So if it, so so if these look alike audiences were 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 the U.K., then I would have I would have done it all in the U.K. and then I would have put the U.K. right there, United Kingdom. So the country must match the look alike audience as well. And so now what you want to do is um because I think I think what they do is they create lookalike audiences in multiple countries. And and they and, and it's only a few countries that they that they target. They target the they target the US, they target Canada, I think, they target um they target the United Kingdom, they target Australia, and they target New Zealand, New Zealand. Okay. Those are the those are the countries. So if you go back to the course, those are the countries that they target. Um, Australia, New Zealand, New Zealand, or however you pronounce that, the U.S., Canada, the United Kingdom. Now you don't do them all right here. No, you don't. You don't put them all, all in right there. Okay. This is again part of your testing. So, so, so you could you could put them all in there. One one form of testing is dumping all them countries in right here. Okay. Another ad for testing purposes would be running each one separately, right? Yeah. So that's what makes up testing. That's what that's what Facebook ad testing is based on. It's based on it's based on putting one at a time or putting them all in there at one time. It's based on targeting one lookalike audience at a time, and also targeting all of them at a time. And then it's also based on. Um, Testing is also based on on keywords, so different interest words. But but in this case, you really don't need to put any interest words. I don't think you need to put interest words on the detailed targeting, um, because you have that lookalike audience. You could put some keywords, but but then again, another that's that's another part of testing. So one ad, I may put all a bunch of keywords. Another ad, I'll leave it I'll leave it off, and I won't put any keywords in there. That's form of testing. And then, and then the last form of testing, which is what they also teach in the course, is images, using different images, right? So, right. so not just putting one image out there, actually running the ad using multiple images, not a carousel post where, where the person sees a bunch of images all on one post, not, not a carousel post, but, but when you run the ad, you set it up, watch, click on, go, go next, just go next, go to the third step. Over here, which is the last part of testing, which is what you want to do, play around and test it, is over here, you would you would you would put in the you would put in the ad, right? You would create the ad here, but then you would use you would put in like five different images. So so scroll down. So right there where it says right here where it says add media, once you add something, it'll allow you to add another one. It'll allow you to add another one. It'll allow you to add another one. And so when you put in multiple, watch just put in one for now next so let's say for example that that's one image so if you hit next done so now as you scroll down what you can do also yes yeah, see so there's the primary text there's the headline um there there's the description and you won't see it right here so what you would do is let's say for example let's say we publish it Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead and publish it. We're not going to run it, but but just publish it anyways. So here's how you would test images, and this is what what is also taught in in the course as well. So now, so that's fine. It didn't publish. That's fine. So X out in the top left. X out. Top left. So now here's what you would do. So X out of the one selected and the one selected, or just check the box to the left, whatever. So just just yeah, check the box and then click on the Ad Set tab. Check that box. Okay, so here's what you would do now. Uncheck this box. Now click on the campaign tab. So what you would do to test images is you would check the box here on the campaign tab. Check the box to the left. And then you would, yep, and then you would click on the ads tab to the right. So click on that third tab to the right. Right, right there. And then you would simply um, um, duplicate. So you would duplicate, you would click on duplicate to the right, duplicate, no, down, down, 
Yeah, so duplicate right there to the right, right below the title, new conversion ad to the right, duplicate. No, 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 don't check the box. Just duplicate, so to the right. You see right there where it says set up? Yeah, you're right down, down. You're right there, you're right there, down, down. Right there, to the right, duplicate. I don't know. Right. Uh, oh, right. there. <laughs> there you go. Click that. And then you would go off the original campaign and then you would duplicate. So hit the blue one. And this is where it'll take you into the third. This is the third, the third tab that we're on, the creative, the ad. And this is where you just put a second image. And so the way you want to do it is you want to put, you want to, you want to put like five different images. And then now Facebook is going to just simply show different images at different times to see which image is the one that pops. So you're creating your, this is another form of testing. You're creating multiple images, testing multiple images. And then you're also, you're also creating multiple ad sets, which is, which is, which is what you want to do too, is create, create multiple ad sets around different different keywords and different and different lookalike audiences. That's what I went over earlier. And to do that, watch X out of this part. So X out of this part and then X out top left X. So so this was the image. This is how you would add a second image. Now uncheck the box to the left. Go back to the, the campaign tab. Now this box is checked. So another form of testing is clicking on Everything is about checking the box on the first tab. That's that's how this that everything is about that. Make sure the first box is checked. Now we click on the middle tab and we do the same thing over here. So the middle tab, so just like I said earlier, the form of testing is on the custom audiences, the look alike, either put all three at one time or do one at a time. Um, target different countries, target different keywords. This is how you would do it. So we check the box on the first tab. Now over here, we duplicate. So you click on duplicate and then now original campaign duplicate. Now over here, it's going to, it's going to bring us back to the second step, which is the ad set level. And over here, scroll down, we would see those three lookalike audiences. This is the same one as the first one, scroll down. So there is our, keep going, keep going, keep going. There are the three. So this is the second version of it. This is the, the duplicate. So now on this duplicate, maybe I'll take out two of them and, and now only test one at a time. Uh, um... Right? So, so, so there now I'm testing one at a time. And one thing you want to do too is get, get super detailed on the title. So at the very, very top, very, very top, the title. Each tab, there's three steps, the ad, the ad set, the ad. These three levels, you want to get super descriptive with the title. Because if you leave everything generic, like it says there to the left, look at the left, all the red triangles, all the every all the vert, all the words to the left. Yes. I don't I based on that right there, I wouldn't know what the hell is what. Because everything is the generic new conversions campaign, new conversions ad set, new conversions ad copy. Right. It's like, I don't even know what the hell that. So what you want to do is you want to name it. So right here, I would probably put, I would probably put us lookalike audience 1% or, or, or us lookalike audiences, all three, right? Like, I just want to get descriptive of what this is, which, what, 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 what am I doing here? Right. So it wouldn't be new, con rename the whole damn thing. It wouldn't be new conversions. That said, delete the whole damn thing and rename it based on based on what you're doing on this exact page what are you doing on this exact page you are targeting a look-alike audience us one percent look us look alike yeah us look alike one percent that's this exact step right here right so 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 on the other the other tab or the other ad set the first original ad set i would have probably named that one us look alike all three or whatever, right? Whatever's gonna help you know what, what that is. But yeah, you would completely, yeah, right there, that one. So if you click on that one, rename this one, US lookalike, all three or whatever, you know? 
So that helps you know exactly what the hell is going on on, on on different ones. So those are really the forms of testing, man. It's really, it's really the ad set creating, duplicating multiple ad sets and testing different lookalike audiences and testing all that keywords, um, duplicating, 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 having, having, having a few different, different ads going at one time in the ad set level. And then, and then in the ad level, having a few different images, duplicate, 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 having a few different images to, to run simultaneously. It's running at the same time, just showing different images to, to different people to see which one pops. And, and that's, that's how you want to set it up. So then after a few days, you let the damn thing run. And let's say in seven days, it used to be shorter, but now it's about seven days. In seven days, you can come back in and see which ad set is performing. Let's say you set up four different ones. It'll show you based on what amount that's being spent, based on conversions, based on freaking the numbers, you'll see which one out of the four is outperforming everyone else. And so as we set up multiple ad sets, all these different lookalikes or whatever it may be, then you'll see which one out of the four is, is outperforming. And, and then you leave that one on and you shut off the other three. On the ad side, I got five different images. It's going to show me which image is performing and, 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 and the other ones that are not. And those other ones that are not, I shut them off. Okay. Just click the dot. So X out of this top left real quick, X out. So all I would do is I would see, let's say, for example, this is it right here. So these, this is the ad set level. Let's say those are the two that I got going on. Let's say top one is outperforming. It's seven days later that top one's outperforming. I'd come over here and just click the blue dot on the second one. Click the, click, click the blue dot and that's it. And I would turn that one off. And then I would do the same thing on the ad, on the ad tab. Click on the ad tab to the right, ad, ads. So over here, I have all these different images, right? All these different images. It's gonna show me right here which one is outperforming. And, and it's always going to be one out of all of them that obviously outperforms. There's going to be always one winner. It ain't going to be two winners. I mean, there, there could be two winners for sure. Like you could be getting a good cost on two out of the four, for sure. And if that's the case, then, then maybe leave them all on. But a lot of times it's clearly one. Clearly one of them is the winner. And so you just shade off all the blues, the ones that are not performing, and leave on that one. And then, and then that's it, man. That that alone should should really bring in some sales until you can really up your budget and start testing even more. Okay, cool. You know. So so yeah, man. So so great job on the hash list, um, and and we'll get through all this stuff, you know, eventually. And then our next call, we'll actually go into the pages and start and start cloning some pages. Okay. okay. But today I wanted to kind of focus on the hash list and, and getting the custom audience set up and getting the lookalike audience set up and kind of taking you through a tutorial on, on how to, how to do the damn thing. <laughs> cool. Yes. All right, man. So, so schedule our next call, bro. And then, and then we'll go straight into Kartra and just knock out some pages and then, and then go from there. Okay. Uh, while I'm, while I'm doing that, should I get some images created for these yeah. ads? Yes, get some images. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And just turn all these off too. Shade all the blues to gray. Um, do that. Do that on each tab, and then you can eventually delete them as well. But um, but do it on the ad set tab, and the campaign tab. Yeah, just shade all of them to to gray. And even when the ad stops, like a lot of people, like the way I teach is I'll I'll, I'll we'll set the calendar right. We'll set the calendar. They don't really teach that in the course. They just let the damn thing run. But but I like to set the calendar just so I don't overspend on anything. Um, so, so as we, as we set the calendar and, and let's say, for example, we plan on having this ad run tomorrow at 6 AM and it's going to end in 14 days. When that ad ends, it ends, but over here, everything is still blue. So what, just to get in a good habit, shade them all to gray. Like when that ad is off, even though it's off, shade them all to gray, right? So, so that's a good habit to get in. Just shade everything to gray that, that, that you know is off. And then um, all the blues are, are, are always on. Okay. Cool. So any, any questions on this site? Custom audience, lookalike audience, hash list, any of that? Yeah. Um, when I start to um, 
run ads normally. Um, I'll usually do this. Um, every uh, different new offer that I'll try out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As, okay. Yeah, I was stuck on this part because um, uh, it's, I wasn't collecting a lot of data um, for running my ads and it wasn't targeting. Um, it yeah. was website, it, it showed me that it was website purchases and um, I was getting um, link clips, but I, yeah. now that I know the, to grab the hash list, Yes, man. Um, I hopefully uh, I shouldn't have a problem in the future getting because uh, this ad account got shut down three times since I've been uh, mm -hmm. running ads. Yeah, fill out the business info in the business settings, right? Knock that out, and then and then um, and you should be you should be good. You should be good as long as that business info is set up. The contact information is is there. Um, you're not putting anything claim any claimy type of you know ad copy in your in your in your ads you should be fine you should be okay fine. and this website um uh, uh could i use the, the the domain that i bought from um name cheap or uh yeah we just have to integrate it so click on brand safety and then um go to uh domains brand safety up domains Okay, so you're verified. So you're good. You can um, actually is that the no, that's not the domain you're using, right? That's a different. That was the lead pages I got rid of. Yeah, make sure you cancel the lead pages. We don't we don't need none of that shit no more. Cancel the lead pages. This is where your your domain needs to go for sure. Um, and when you get domains, don't get them through any software type of thing, like through lead pages, for example. A lot of people will use Wix, and then they'll get the domain through Wix. Like, don't do that. Always go straight to GoDaddy. Like, okay. always go, or Namecheap, whatever. But, but you can still, yeah, or Namecheap. Just go straight to Namecheap. Don't go through a third party to get the domain, right? Because then it could be a bitch to get that domain back. Because it's really the third party that kind of technically owns it. Um, okay. right. So, so make sure you control that domain. Make sure you own that domain, and and make sure you purchase that domain your, yourself. Okay. Uh, should it be us? Uh, uh, let me see. So. Because uh, I had it, uh, I still have it in here. Sh should it be as easy as just removing it? Yes, uh, if you can remove uh, it. Um, like I can walk through this with you on our on our next call, but. But if yeah, just find out how you can remove it before you before you even cancel it. If anything, like maybe reach out to them and just say, "Hey, I'm gonna be canceling my account. How do I make sure my domain is mine?" Okay, you know, be because certain. this one right here is the one hooked up to um, my Facebook, but um, I own the um, the um, dailyfruit.fit.com. Okay, so you you have that through what through Namecheap? uh yes okay you're good you're good so yeah that's not even your domain at the top that's that's lead pages domain so yeah cancel this shit. you don't need this and and i'll show you how to connect it through namecheap on our next call okay cool yes all right adonis i appreciate you bro um schedule our next one and then we'll go from there um could you uh send me your uh website so i can yeah. um leave a good review Oh man, you're the best, bro. Yeah, you're you're the best. I really appreciate it. In fact, you know what? Go to go to Facebook.com right here. I'll just show you how to get to it. It's super quick. But okay. any other questions on the on the um on the custom audiences? Uh oh no. Uh this is perfect. Awesome.